Hi guys, and welcome to my brand new base. Uh, this base is on Mandalore's moon. Uh, it's got Death Watch and droids. Uh, the reason why the, I decided to do this base is because uh, I wanted to do a Mandalore base. I've been wanting to do one for ages, and I haven't actually got around to doing one. Uh, then one day I just started building. Well, like a month ago, I started just putting bricks together. And then I formed the base, and then I thought, well, now could be a good time to do the Mandalore base. And the storyline behind this base is that uh, the Death Watch has sort of betrayed the Separatists, and Count Dooku didn't like that. So, he has sent an army of uh, droids to sort of take out the Death Watch, and the Death Watch are trying so hard to protect their base on the Mandalorian moon. And then there's like lots of droids sort of just coming in all along the grass, ready to take out the Mandalorians. And the Mandalorians are ready to take out the droids. So they're all ready to kill each other, to be honest. As usual, I will start off with the outside and then do the actual base bit um, afterwards. Okay, so first of all, on the actual battle scene, we have an AAT. We have two uh, commando droids standing on either side, just like poised, ready to start shooting. And then we've got two steps either side of that, just sort of guiding it, well not guiding it in, but escorting it. And then to the sides of the steps, we have two uh, Battle and Naboo sets, the droid sort of carriers. And they're both full up with droids on either one. Because I took out the pieces where you put the guns and then just left it as that. So you can fit like twice the amount of droids you can on um, than the original one. Uh, so I've done that to both of those. And then I've got a spider droid here who uh, killed a Death Watch character or a Mandalorian. And he's like standing on uh, him as he walks over him. Then the those two Mandalorians didn't like that, so they're using their flamethrowers to actually sort of burn the, spy the dwarf spider droid. Um, which is pretty cool. I literally just stuck the fire pieces in their hands to make it look like they're shooting fire from there wrist things they fire it from um <coughs> excuse me uh, so we've got a big spider uh spider droid over here uh i don't know if i'm if that's its name uh, i think it's the spider droid but i oh, know that's a dwarf spider droid but anyways uh, i got two droidicas either side sort of just rolling in with lots of uh normal battle droids just marching in i've got a dead Super Battle Droid there. Th this Super Battle Droid has the cannon arm along with him and there's three of them. Him, him, and I've lost the other one. There's another one that fires it. But anyway, so this one here has uh, fired and there's a little, little fire mark. And th that Super Battle Droid has fired and left that mark. So you sort of just try and aim and target the Mandalorians because they're sort of taking out all of the like the front line, which is obviously what they're going to do. Uh, over here, there's just a wall running along. It is a pretty decent wall. Uh, there's a little archway there so where uh, some Mandalorians can sort of run through, and there's just like leaves growing off it because it's it was like a abandoned place, like the mines they have on the moon and they just like took it over so it's all really all grassy and mossy uh i i got some speeders or two speeders actually being driven uh this speeder has obviously driven over that droid which i find kind of funny i got three cannons uh 1 2 3 Sort of just firing at the uh, droids. I got droids sort of dotted over some rocks, some more of the uh, the wall again, as over here and there. Just for a bit of comical uh, humor, I have put a Mandalorian on a bicycle. So instead of riding out on uh, a speeder, he's riding a bicycle. So you're sort of cycling it out, trying to attack 
the droids with a bicycle. I don't know how much damage he's going to do with a bike. Is he going like, to try to ram them? Or pull a wheelie? I don't know. So, um, over here we have uh, another commando droid on a chain trying to climb the wall. I don't know if you can see that very well. But there is a commando droid on a chain. And he's climbed up. And he's just ready to... Well, he's attacking... They're attacking uh, the roof. Because the commando droid's aim is to try to get inside the building through the top way. To try to get in that way. And these droids are going to take out the front. Or aim to take out the front and then go through uh, the main door. Which I'll show you guys in a bit. Uh, On the wall here we have... Like, sort of, lightsabers all connected up. Sort of as, like, a energy pulse thing or whatever. Um, you want to call it. Because I'm not too sure. It's like a beam of light sort of thing up the building. But, like, energy source thing. <laughs> um, anyways. So we've got plant, a couple of plants dotted on the roof. Because it's sort of starting to get all old. Uh, over here, the leader... Uh, Boba Fett, I know he's not actually a part of the Mandalorian crew, he just wears the armour. I thought I'd throw him in, since he is actually wearing the armour. And he's looking over here, because he's seen that uh, the commander droids are on the roof, and he's like, oh no. And that Mandalorian's dead, and those three are protecting the roof. Over here we have a shut the shuttle, and Ventress is in the back of it, and she's just about to jump out, and Jewel... With uh, Boba Fett, which I think would be a pretty cool scene to see. There's some guns on the roof, and that Mandalorian is just going to pick up that gun. Um, over here we have sort of a sniper. I took his legs off and put them on backwards so he could sit down and sort of lie down. Then he's just aiming at some droids in the background. And that that Mandalorian is just ready to fly over the edge and just shoot anyone down, which is pretty cool. Uh, this bit here is a ramp. There's actually a ramps that go around. <coughs> Excuse me. There's ramps that go around and go come up to the roof, uh, which is pretty cool. It took me quite a while to do that, but that Mandalorian is just running up to try to attack the. We'll get a gun and then start helping with the rest of the battle. There's three crates over here. Uh, just sitting there, waiting to be used. Um, I think ammo should be in that one. So that's like ammo crates. And then over here we have a battery pack connected to inside lights. And... Uh, uh, the Gene Ocean Cannon. One second, guys. I need to quickly find the remote to activate it. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. Um, I forgot my remote. <laughs> I, kn I knew I was forgetting something. That always happens to me. I'm like, it, even if it's to do with school, I'm leaving the door. I'm like, oh, I forgot something. Run back in the house and then I go get it. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, so. I have motorized the Gene Ocean Cannon, so you can sort of aim it if you want, sort of at um, the AAT and try to shoot it down, or you could aim it at the Spider Droid or the Super Battle Droids, uh, literally just down there, which is pretty cool. Um, the receiver is actually built into the back pillar. Because I originally had it there, and it looked a bit bulky for the room underneath. Uh, so I took out the pillar bit, added some bricks around to make it flat. Because it's got the archway above it, so I just added two bricks high to make it... I think it's four or, f four or five, maybe five bricks tall. And then I connected the battery pack to the actual baseboard, so it can't actually move. You can't literally lift it up without breaking it off the baseboard which I think is a pretty cool thing uh, in order to take the roof off 
which is a bit of a challenge. Uh, you need to remove the Geon Ocean uh, cannon, then take off this piece here, then this piece here, because they're just overlapping. You just have to remove the gun rack, and then you can remove it. Actually, if I take off that, <coughs> right, I'll quickly try to do this without failing. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I did it. Woo! Okay, right. So this is the inside. Um, I spent a little while last night just uh, tweaking the inside, making it look cool. Uh, I'm just going to quickly get rid of the uh, middle support. Easy to do. Two pieces. Then I removed the whole beam. So now you can see into the whole thing. Oh yeah, this is one thing I forgot to show you guys. Oh, it's pretty cool. This is the door here. And it's like ratioed. And in order to... I don't know if you can see that line. Just there. But in order to move the door, you just push the piece. It is pretty cool. It took me a while to actually think of, think of it. We just pull it, and then the door opens and closes. So you open the door, and then over here we have two sp oh, a speeder, which uh, is just literally the, the last Mandalorian, not Mandalore, because that's that's the planet. The last Mandalorian Death Watch character uh, just got on it. And he's about to fly out and join the battle. We got sort of Boba's office over here, and he has uh, he has a sliding door as well. That slides just like that. It's pretty easy. I added some ping pong tables, so you can still sort of play a bit of ping pong or table tennis. So pass the time away. So it must really get really boring just on an outpost when there's lots of you. So you can have like challenges and <laughs> challenge each other to a game, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, I used Palpatine's uh, f desk from Palpatine's Arrest. I took that uh, the desk out of that. <coughs> Excuse me. And I put it into this base to make it look a bit more officey. And he's got some windows. And I took these pieces also out of Palpatine's Arrest. Uh, the curved piece is from the edges. And then these pieces are from the window that collapses. Because I had originally six of these. And, no, four of these. And they're there. So, I had to quickly borrow those from that set. Over here we just have uh, lots of uh, cupboards. We can go in and store all your resources. Over there, sort of like the kitchen area, where you can prepare food, or whatever meal they eat. Over here is just like, uh, what, desks and stuff, and the paperwork. A couple of computers, uh, and just two brown crates, one with a lid on, and grey studs. And the other is just empty. I got uh, satellites there and there. I'm, I made a makeshift. I think I used four two by threes and just a. Uh, I think it's a eight. Yeah, what, two one by eights, and then I made like a little box, and you stick the wire for it. It stops the wire from like spreading, being in the way. Um, sorry if my voice sounds funny on this. I've been ill with a cold the past couple of days and. A very sore throat, and my th throat is hurting quite a lot right now. But you guys need to see this video because I promised that you guys would get this video. Because as soon as I finish this video, I will be disassembling this base. Well, I'll take photos, disassemble it, and then you guys will be able to see my clone army. I'm redoing my clone army video, as I said in my last video. But if you haven't seen my last video, then you guys uh, should see it. It's just a quick brief of what video is coming up. And if you didn't see it and you don't want to see it, I shall tell you. It's this video <laughs> and my Republic army video and uh, maybe some more 
uh, sets and base reviews and mocks and stuff. But yeah, that really has been my uh, base. Oh yeah, one last thing. There's the stairs leading up. If I could try to remove this bit without destroying it too much, because that bit mainly sticks. Uh, there's a ramp going up, and then it literally goes across the back there, then up through here, around, then up to the top, which, that also took quite a while to design. Okay, so thanks for watching this video, I know it's been a bit of a drag, 15 minutes, or nearly 60, uh, but just stay tuned and you'll be able to see my brand new Clone Army video, which should be coming out uh, tomorrow or some day during the week, because I'm quite busy with schoolwork, and social life and other things okay so thanks for watching this video please like comment and subscribe and i shall see you in my next video thanks guys bye